my sightseers, how often have you been out in the middle of winter walking around and thought, dang, it is just way too icy to be out here? Well, no worries. Today, we're gonna test out two different products, Spiky Mikey's, as we used to call them at work, or better known as ice cleats. We've got these Fraybill ice cleats in this safety kit, and then we have these hticefish.com safety cleats. So stick around and find out how well do these products fare when taking them out on the ice. Well, these hticefish.com all-purpose ice cleats claim to be super grip. Now we're gonna open this up. Well, I don't need a scissors for that one, but. This is what we got here. All right, this will be interesting. Not really sure how these are gonna go on or how well they'll work, but try these out. And you can see this was previously opened. Now, we didn't previously open them. Somebody else did. We just bought them that way. But open them up. You've got to be smarter than the packaging. Nobody told me I had to be a he-man to open that up. But this kit comes with these, which look like they slide over the bottoms of your shoes or boots. And then it's got this for in case you fall through the ice. And then a cop whistle. Because you never know what kind of traffic you might have to direct out on the ice. Marty's gonna try on the cheaper ones. How do those feel? Good when you walk on ice because they push right through the ice. It's like, it feels like normal walking pretty much. All right, we're all set. Another staple of the North Woods is this handy dandy hand warmer. Artie's gonna light it here. Hopefully not light himself on fire. Okay, don't try this at home, folks. Just kidding. 
Once the flame burns down, or you can either blow it out or let it burn down, the catholytic heater inside keeps it nice and toasty warm. And that way you can keep your hands warm in your pockets. And it burns on Ronsonol lighter fuel, or as we all like to know it as, thick fluid. Zippo. <laughs> Zippo fluid. This is going to be the real test. The lake is basically glare ice. Thumbs up! Poor guy, I think he needs a pair. All joking aside, the whistle is a great safety feature to have. That's why I bought the kit is for the ice picks. Before I was using Phillips screwdrivers, however, I saw this kit on, on special at Walmart and picked it up for a pretty good price. So we're gonna test these out. So say I fell through the ice and I'm hanging on the edge. You get a good upper body workout doing this. Now that we know how well the ice picks work, let's see how well these work. This is what happens to old pop-up campers in the North Woods. They turn them into ice fishing shacks. For those of you who prefer something a little bit fancier, we've got the Taj Mahal model right here. The door alone must have cost more than that pop-up camper did. How much ice fishing do you think goes on in this shack? If I had to wager a bet, it wouldn't be a whole lot. Oh, this feels really good. Just in case you've never seen a crack in the ice up close. And for you science geeks out there, those are known as stress cracks caused by the heating and cooling of the ice. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. What's the verdict? These are a great option for you if you are on a budget or you're outfitting like 10 different people. And these are perfect if you want the additional safety equipment to go with it. There you have it. That's our review. And remember folks, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs>